All right, let's get this stretch break rolling. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's afternoon stretch break. My name is Jazzy, health fitness specialist here with Exos at Autodesk. And we are going to go ahead and get started with our stretching. So we are going to be focusing mainly on the lower body, but we'll do a couple upper body things as well. If you have anything in particular you need stretched out, go ahead and put that in the chat box and I'll incorporate that into the stretch break today. But we are gonna start off on the ground. I'm gonna go ahead and move my camera down here for everyone. So we're gonna go ahead and get in a nice shin box position here. So we're gonna have one leg in front. So we want a 90 degree angle of each of our hips and our knees coming out. So right now my right, my left leg is in front, knee is straight out to the side, and my right leg is straight out to the side and back. So from here, we're gonna do a couple different things. So we're gonna start off with some rotation. So we are going to have our arms straight out to the side, and we are going to bend forward towards our front leg, come back up and we're gonna open up towards our back leg and back to center. So when we are bending forward, we wanna use that core to come back up and we, when we twist, we wanna make sure that our back knee is still on the ground. We want both our knees on the ground and coming back to center. Staying nice and tall here, we're gonna do five each direction. So we have two more with these. Make sure we're not forgetting to breathe, opening up as much as we can when we turn. And we're gonna go ahead and do one more each direction. Opening up as much as we can, keeping those knees on the ground, back to center. Wonderful. So since we are already on this side, we're gonna go ahead and do one, two more things on this side. <laughs> So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some reach throughs and rotation. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my left hand and place it right next to my leg. And we're going to take my, I'm gonna take my right hand and we're gonna reach through to the other side as far as we can and return back to center. So we are exhaling as we reach as far as we can and returning to center. So we're doing five of these. We have three more here. So reaching, feeling that rotation in the spine here. And we're also opening up the hips a little bit because we want both the knees to be on the ground. So let's go ahead and do one more here. Reaching as far as we can and back to center. Wonderful. So the last thing that we're gonna do today um, in the Z sit is gonna be the hardest thing. So we're going to work on pushing our back foot into the ground and then raising our back foot. So this is gonna be all in the hips and in the glutes here. So first we're going to press, I want everyone to press the heel of the back leg into the ground for three seconds. And then we're going to try and lift that heel off the ground. So Luis is really great at this. My right side does not wanna go. So it might look like nothing is moving and that is okay. We wanna make sure we're staying nice and tall in this and we don't wanna be leaning forward to be able to lift up the leg. So we're pressing into the ground for three seconds and then we're gonna lift as high as we can. And again, if you don't get any high off the ground, that's okay. We just wanna make sure we're squeezing that glute to try and raise that heel off the ground. All right, let's go ahead and do one more pushing into the ground and raising our heel. Awesome. So when we finish each of those, we're gonna flip over to the other side. So now my right leg is gonna be in front. My left leg is behind me. And we're gonna start off bending forward and twisting to the side. So arms are gonna be straight out and we're gonna come forward. And then we are going to twist, opening up as far as we can while keeping both of our knees on the ground. So we're bending forward, everything on the ground, opening up, feeling that twist in our spine. We wanna make sure we're keeping our core nice and tight as we sit back up after bending forward. 
We're gonna go ahead and do two more here. So bending forward, use that core, push the ground away from you with your knee, opening up. Great job. So we're gonna go ahead and do one more each direction, bending forward. And opening up. Awesome. All right, next one. We're gonna place the, I'm gonna place our right hand right next to my right leg on the right side and I'm gonna take my left hand and we're gonna reach through and come back to center. Wow, I'm really surprised. Usually my back cracks on this side, but I did do this a little bit earlier. So that's probably why my back is not cracking, but it does feel very good when you switch sides. We're gonna do five of these. So we're reaching through, exhaling on the reach, and coming back to center. And let's go ahead and do one more. Reach as far as you can, and back to center. Wonderful. All right, last thing. We're gonna be pressing back heel into the ground and then lifting it using our glutes. So hold for three seconds, pushing into the ground using those glutes, using the hip, and then we're going to elevate one leg. And now, now is the time we're probably gonna notice that one side is a little bit easier than the other. I know for me, my left leg will come off the ground. My right leg barely comes off the ground. I have to work so much harder. So sometimes when we have tight hips, What's happening is we have you know, minimal stability in the muscles around the hip, which would be the glutes, the hip flexors, all of that. So I wanna make sure those are all nice and strong so we can have that range of motion and be able to move through the range of motion here. So it's a mobility versus stability issue. And a lot of the times it's just a lack of stability. So we're gonna go ahead and do this one more time, pushing that heel into the ground and elevating the heel. Awesome, great job everyone. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to our hands and our knees. And once we're there, we're gonna do one of my personal favorites, which I guess we're doing a lot of today. We're gonna do some quadruped rocking, but we're gonna do a nice adductor stretch. So I'm gonna stick out my left leg all the way out to the side. So my left leg is just like a kickstand. I'll kind of angle this for you guys. My hips are gonna be even parallel. My hands are directly below the shoulders. My left foot is flat on the ground. So heel, big toe, little toe touching the ground. We're gonna go ahead and rock back. Hold for about three seconds. Squeeze the glutes and come back up. So as we rock back, we're gonna feel that stretch opening up that inner part of the thigh, which are our adductors I always have to I always say the wrong one and I don't mean that one so these are the adductors and we want to make sure that our foot is flat on the ground to get the most stretch so we can inside that inner thigh and we're going to go ahead and do two more we want to make sure our core is still nice and tight pelvis is tucked keeping our back nice and flat and last one here rocking back feeling the stretch Squeezing the glutes and returning to center. Awesome job, everyone. We're gonna go ahead and switch over to the other leg. So now I'm gonna take my right leg straight out like a kickstand, back is nice and flat, hips are flat, and my heel, big toe, little toe are on the ground, and we're gonna rock back, touching glute to heel, squeezing, returning to center. I do. Love this stretch, it kind of helps open up those hips a little bit more. Sometimes our adductors can get tight without us even realizing. Great job, everyone. We're gonna go ahead and do two more here. And last one. Awesome. All right, we are gonna close out today's stretch break with a wide knee child's pose. So we're gonna go ahead and take those hips a little bit farther than hip width, whatever you feel comfortable with. And we're gonna go ahead and rock those hands out and bring our glutes to the heels and the forehead, chin, or cheek to the ground here. 
And for this one, so earlier we did more of a chest and back focus, but right now we're going to do more of a lower body focus. So we really want to inhale nice and deep into the belly, feeling the low back expand, and really relaxing those hips on the exhale. So letting those hips get deeper and deeper with each exhale, really opening up the lower body here. We're going to do one nice big inhale. And a long, slow exhale. And we're going to return to either seated or standing, whichever one you want to return to. I'm going to stay seated because that's where my camera is right now. But thank you all so much for coming to today's stretch break. I love to see you all in here. Love to, you know, get refreshed and then we'll be able to get back to the day feeling nice and stretched out. Don't forget, we are still doing our Zen and 10 programs through the rest of this week. If you want to sign up, we still have our link to the spreadsheet is up on our Slack. It is on our blog, on our website, as well as um, I think Luis is about to put that link into the chat for us today. And we um, have one more stretch break tomorrow at 3 p.m. with Luis. And then we do have two stretch breaks on Thursday at 11 a.m. and at 2.30 again with Luis. And we do have boot camp tomorrow at 12 with Luis. And Luis is so kind as to um, sub my... 12 p.m. exercise access class on Thursday. So we got a lot of Luis coming up the rest of this week, but thank you all for coming and I hope you all have a great rest of your day.